hey welcome back my name is sushant satish and i am your trainer for this ai 900 microsoft certification exam we are entering a brand new model in this video this module is all about machine learning and the first lesson we are going to learn in this video it's all about introduction to machine learning so without wasting any more time let's get into it So what is machine learning? Machine learning is the foundation for most AI solutions and enables the creation of models that predict unknown values and infer insights from observed data. So how do machines learn? So the answer is from data. In today's world, we create huge volumes of data as we go about our everyday lives. from the text messages emails social media posts the photos what we take on our phones we generate massive amounts of information more data still is created by millions of sensors in our home cars cities and public transport infrastructure and factories so data scientists can use all of that data to train machine learning models that can make predictions and inferences based on the relationship they find in the data for example suppose an environmental conservation organization wants volunteers to identify and catalog different species of wild flower using a phone app so i'm going to show you an animation which shows how machine learning can be used to enable for this particular scenario The first task is for a team of botanists and data scientists to collect samples of these wild flowers. If you notice, each sample has some features such as measurement of the pellets, stem, and other details. And the botanist can provide a label for the flower using its species name. So what you see over here is the Latin name of these flower species. The next step is and the sample data is then processed using the algorithm that tries to find a relationship between the features and the label. So now the label data is processed using an algorithm that finds relationship between the features of the samples and the label features. The next step is the result of the algorithm are encapsulated in a model. and since the model has learned the relationship between the features and the label you can use it to predict the species of a flower based on its features and when a new samples are found by the volunteers the model can identify the correct species label so that was a quick example about machine learning model so let's understand what is regression regression is a form of machine learning that is used to predict a numeric label based on an item's features for example suppose adventure work cycle is a business that rents cycle in a city the business could use historic data to train a model that predicts daily rental demand in order to make sure that sufficient staffs and cycles are available to do this Adventure work could create a machine learning model that takes information about specific day, example the day of the week, the expected weather conditions and so on as an input and produces the permitted number of rentals as an output. So let's look at an example and get an idea of how it works. There is a little mathematics involved, but don't worry. The basic idea is fairly straightforward. For this example we will restrict this to just the temperature and the number of rentals per day in reality there would be more factors to consider the number of rentals is the label we are going to predict and we are going to use the daily temperature as the feature on which the base the prediction generally we refer to this feature as x and the label as y we are going to do this to try to figure out a function that we can apply to x to get to the value of y so as you notice 
X appears above as the temperature column and Y appears above as the rentals column. And when we find a function, we will need to validate it with some data for days where we already know the number of rentals so we can see how well it predicts. As you notice, I split this table into training subset and validation subset. So looking at the plot, you can see a trend in which higher temperature tend to correlate with more rentals. In fact, we can fit a line between these plotted points that more or less describes this correlation. And we can use this line to work out a calculation that produces y from x. The point where the line interprets with the y-axis is around 35. So the function that operates on x to find y is 35 plus 1.5 times of x. Now we can test this function with the validation data that we held back. So here are the values we get from the function for the temperature on these days. So let's plot the actual values from the validation data along with the line from which the predicted values were calculated. Now we can see how well the model predicts by measuring the difference between the predicted values and the actual values that we know to be true. Let's understand what is classification. Classification is a form of machine learning that is used to predict which category or class an item belongs to. For example, a health clinic might use the characteristics of a patient such as age, weight, blood pressure and so on to predict whether the patient is at risk of diabetes. And the label is a classification of either 0 or 1, representing non-diabetic or diabetic. Like regression, classification is an example of a supervised machine learning technique in which you train a model using data that includes both the features and non-values for the label, so that the model learns to fit the features combined to the label. Then after the training has been completed, you can use the trained model to predict labels for new items for which the labels is unknown. Let's understand clustering. Clustering is a form of machine learning that is used to group similar items into clusters based on their features. For example, a botanist might take measurements of plants and group them based on similarities in their proportions. And clustering is an example of an unsupervised machine learning in which you train a model to separate items into clusters based purely on their circumstances or features. There is no previously known cluster value or label from which to train the model. So that concludes the first lesson of machine learning. In the next lesson, we're going to talk about Azure machine learning. So I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care.